Fast tracking is an important time management tool used in project management. Fast tracking involves looking at those tasks that lie in the critical path and seeing if there's a way that we can alter the relationships between them so that the project will complete quicker. Let's look at an example. In this particular case, there are two tasks that are on the critical path and the relationship between them is a finish to start relationship. These finish to start relationships are fairly common. What this means is that purchase parts, task B, can't start until design system is complete, task A. If we do a forward pass through this little part of the network, we will find that this part of the network is going to take a total of 24 days. But what if we were to start purchasing this equipment prior to the design being complete? Maybe our designers are able to determine the raw materials or parts that they're going to need as soon as possible in the design process so that we can get started with purchasing those materials a little bit sooner. They can then work out the rest of the design details while we are purchasing the parts and raw materials. So what we do is we change this relationship from a finish to start to a start to start. In this case, what it means is that purchase parts, task B, can start a short time after design system is started, task A. So in this case, I'm going to put a four-day lag into this relationship, meaning that we will be able to start purchasing four days after the design process has started. If we go through the forward pass again, we'll find that now our total duration of this part of the network is 20 days. And in fact, what we're waiting on is for task A to be complete because purchasing will be completed uh, long before the design process is over. Now that we have the hang of it, let's look at this at a little bit larger scale. In this example, we have four different tasks. A design task, a purchase task, a testing task, and an assembly task. If all these tasks happen sequentially, that is, the relationships are all finished to start, the total duration of the small part of the network is 56 days. However, if we alter the relationships and make them start to starts with some amount of lag, we can see that the duration has now gone down to only 37 days. In other words, we're completing this project in 33% less time. So these are the benefits of fast tracking. There's no extra direct costs and it reduces the project time. However, it does have some drawbacks. It can increase risk because our network becomes more complex and there's going to be more tasks being worked on at the same time. Our network may be more sensitive and will certainly require more communication as there are going to be more people working on overlapping tasks who are going to have to do coordination with each other and communication with our project manager. So just like anything that we consider in project management, there's going to be some trade-offs along the way. Fast tracking should always be part of our scheduling and time management plan.